Lipid compounds include triglycerides, steroids or cholesterol-based hormones, and phospholipids, which make up cell membranes. Triglycerides are used for energy. The long, fatty acid chains are broken down to two carbon segments, which are converted into acetyl-CoA to enter the Krebs cycle. One triglyceride molecule can have around 25 to 100 carbon atoms. This is remarkable when you compare that to one glucose molecule, which will yield as much as four carbon atoms, or two segments. Steroids are hormones made from cholesterol. Phospholipids make up cell membranes. Because triglycerides are such an important source of energy, the formation, breakdown, and use of these are discussed. Lipogenesis is the formation of triglycerides from food, primarily for storage. Lipolysis is when triglycerides are broken down into free fatty acids and glycerol molecules to be used as energy. Beta oxidation is how we get the fatty acids to convert to acetyl-CoA for use in the Krebs cycle. When a triglyceride enters a cell, it is broken down into two carbon units that are converted into acetyl-CoA by the beta oxidation process. Acetyl-CoA produces one ATP and coenzymes, which are four NADH and one FADH2, which will move to the electron transport chain. In the electron transport chain, oxygen is used to help the four NADH coenzymes create 12 ATPs and the FADH2 makes another two ATPs. The next two carbon units does this all over again. A triglyceride has three fatty acid chains, which is a lot of substrate to make a lot of ATP. It is understandable why triglyceride fat is such a great energy source, but why it also takes so long to work off. The glycerol backbone of the triglyceride molecule will be processed like glucose, which will give us an extra 36 ATP in addition to all the ATP from each of the two carbon segments from the fatty acid chains. Ketogenesis is the production of ketones, which are formed when fat is converted into glucose. If there is no glucose or carbohydrates available for the cell to use as energy, then glucose has to be made from fat. Many cells can use fat for energy, but not the brain. Under normal circumstances, when the fatty acid chains go through the beta oxidation process to convert to acetyl-CoA, oxalacetic acid is required to enter the Krebs cycle. In situations where there are not enough carbohydrates for energy, the oxalacetic acid is used to make glucose instead. Therefore, there is a buildup of acetyl-CoA that can't enter the Krebs cycle because the oxalacetic acid is not available. It is busy making glucose for the brain. The excess acetyl-CoA is sent to the liver where it forms ketones, and the person is said to be experiencing ketosis.